powerful and deadly nor'easter hammering parts of New England at this very moment. Extreme winds knocked out power to hundreds of thousands across the region, and some areas saw up to a foot and a half of snow in April here. The storm also brought flooding to coastal communities. Elaine Quijano has more on this big mess. High winds, heavy snow, and flooding. The Northeast was the final target of a week-long storm with deadly results. In Derry, New Hampshire, a grandmother was killed and her 11-year-old granddaughter was injured in this house explosion. Relatives told CBS News Boston a tree fell onto a propane tank next to the home, causing the blast. The child is expected to survive. I would ask that everybody keeps the family in their thoughts as we process this tragedy. The intense nor'easter, with gusts up to 60 miles per hour, knocked out power to more than half a million customers across New England, including southern Maine, where a house in West Gardner was engulfed in flames. First responders there believe a generator was used in the garage where the fire started. In Massachusetts... We heard, like, a, a, the crack, and then it, we the whole house shook. This tree came crashing down, crushing a car in Nicole Saltzman's driveway in North Reading. On the coast, strong winds and high tide drove seawater on shore. The nasty weather also inundated downtown Boston, making ordinary business anything but routine. This is not what I was hoping for, visiting Boston for the first time. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elaine Quijano in New York.